What's up you wild plastic straws? Get it? Look how beautiful this is. Greta Thunberg, Thunberg, however you say it, is time the uh, person of the year. I don't want to be person of the year. This is a very magical shot on, on the homepage, if you could see right now. I just, I wanted to get this video out. I have a couple more rants coming. I've been gone for a while, but I've been very busy, but we're gonna go ahead and read this real quick, you know. Uh, Greta Thunber Thunberg sits in silence in the cabin of the boat that will take her across the Atlantic Ocean. Inside, there's a cow skull hanging on the wall, a faded globe, a child's yellow raincoat. Outside, it's a tempest, rain pelts the boat. You know, it's very <laughs> poetically written, you could say. We can't just continue living as if there was no tomorrow. Because there is a tomorrow, she says, tugging on the sleeve of her blue sweatshirt. That is all we are saying. This is fantastic. This is great. But I got something to say. As far as being person of the year, you know, I look at why this person is the person of the year. And to me, it seems like Greta's here because uh, the internet made her be. Wow, look at this. She began a global movement by skipping school starting in August 2018. She spent her days camped out in the front of the Swedish parliament, holding a sign painted in black letters on a white background that read, School Strike for Climate. In the 16 months since, she has addressed heads of state at the UN, met with the Pope, sparred with the President of the United States, and inspired 4 million people to join the global climate strike on September 20, 2019. Here's the thing I want to say about that. As far as my opinion, I'm not educated in every crevice of the whole climate and what scientists are saying and what people are saying. What I do know is uh, the rise of CO2, uh, pollution, it's bad for your health, this is documented. I drive a Tesla for crying out loud. So believe me with the whole carbon footprint thing, less CO2 emissions in the air. You know, I go to some places where the air is so much cleaner, I just feel a lot healthier and better. So I'm all about that. That I understand. But as far as people who go protesting in New York talking about, we only have 10 years to live. 20 max! Guys, we... Look, get your phones out, mark the calendar. We got 20 years and we are done. 20 years, 20 years max and we are dead. And some of them are talking about, I can't have kids. I could Kids? Why would I have kids? Because... It's unfair to the kids that, you know, I can't raise them because when I have kids, they're gonna die by the time they're 12 years old. That's cruel. I'm not gonna murder kids. You're a murderer. You don't believe in this climate, so you're a baby, you're a child murderer. Until we create a world that's going to be livable for a child's entire life, it's incredibly cruel to have children at this point in time. I don't want to have a kid and they're gonna die at 12 because you're taking the oath? The fucking desert. You're taking the uh, oath not yeah. to have kids? Her image has been celebrated, uh, politics of climate action, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what else it says here. She's 16, but looks 12. Okay, great. She has Asperger's syndrome. Now here's the other thing I wanted to talk about. This is all great, to be honest. Uh, I like seeing a person doing what she's passionate about. And this is what happens with, I've been around many kids with autism, Asperger's, you know, on the spectrum, Down syndrome. Uh, I know a, a lot of kids with Asperger's. There's a field that they're very passionate about. I know this, I support this, I like this. I love what she's doing. I do, I'm not saying anything about that. Let her be an activist. Let her go out there and shove this stick up the Pope for all I care about CO2 emissions or, you know, whatever. But the fact of the matter is that I don't know what anything else she's done besides like, she blew up because she became a meme on the internet. I think she blew up and she got people to come to her rallies and all this stuff because she became a meme on the internet. Now, you know, I, I poke fun and make jokes here and there. Necessarily, I don't agree with some of the jokes people are throwing. Uh, Greta's way, but for a lot of her followers to go so extremely as to say things like we're all dead I'm not even gonna have kids our planet's gonna die in 10 years. We're completely screwed Yeah, but we can ban plastic straws, but make paper straws that makes a lot of sense She symbolizes the agony the frustration the desperation the anger at some level the hope of many young people who won't even be uh, Of age to vote by the time their futures are doomed doomed when you are a leader and every week you have young people demonstrating with such message, you cannot remain neutral. Thunberg's Asperger's diagnosis helped explain why she had such a powerful reaction to learning about the climate crisis. She is in some ways grateful for her diagnosis. If her brain worked differently, she explained, I wouldn't be able to sit for hours and read things I'm interested in. This article just kind of keeps going on with her and people she meets and stuff she says and 
Look at all the places she's been featured in for crying out loud. That is nuts. For blowing up like a meme. One thing I want to point out about this article is it doesn't actually take you into the science and the specifics and the data collected about climate change. It just kind of more so focuses about Greta. But you have the other side. You have the side of crazies. You have the side of insane people. There are people who are, you know, following Greta and following this whole climate change thing, and they have absolutely no clue what they're talking about. They make ridiculous claims, and they join this movement behind Greta to make themselves feel relevant and important. And on the flip side, you have people just making fun of those people and Greta. So the moral of the story is, guys, it doesn't matter what you do. You're gonna make, you're gonna be made fun of. And you know what, at the end of it, I say, good for her. Good for her because she's out there, you know, doing something. Uh, what are you lazy bitches doing? all day, sitting around watching freaking Netflix. Coming up next, a Netflix documentary on Greta Thunberg. Something you guys will watch probably in the future and go on Facebook to rant about anyways. But I can't believe how much this, this is blown up huge. I can't believe this. Like this article states, in 2018, like, she became this person so fast, within a year. She's Time Magazine's person of the, of the year. Within th that year, like the, just the one year. If you've contributed to the Greta memes, you guys can thank yourselves for this. To all those crazy people out there, relax, the planet's not dying in 10 years. I don't know what the hell you're saying. But let me know what you guys think of this whole situation. I just wanted to make this rant to make it a discussion more so. I want to know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below. But that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, love you all. I'll see you on my next rant. Thank you.